Hey, this is Pastor Frank with a follow-up to last week's uh, message. Last Sunday we talked to, we're in 1 John chapter 1, the Apostle John writes an epistle later on in his ministry and, and how he starts the epistle is so beautiful. He says, you know, we're writing these things to you so that you might have fellowship with us as we have fellowship with him. And it's the Greek word koinonia, and it means this common connection that we have, this fellowship. It's interesting, fellowship, such a Christianese word, but it's a beautiful word. It's a word that speaks about a bonding and a community that happens, a common bond that we have. And you know, for, for us to have fellowship with God is an amazing concept. The creator of the universe, and I can have a, a, a common bond connection with him. And you know, when you do that and you can start having a wonderful fellowship with other brothers and sisters that have the same bond and connection, there's a, there, it just draws us together and it creates this Christian community, this family of faith. And we, it's just so fun to think about that word. And when I look at our church, our church is a church that really does a good job knowing each other, caring for each other, praying for each other, um, journeying in life with each other. It's, it's an awesome church. We, we at Woodbridge have fellowship, and our fellowship is because we have this common love for Jesus, and it draws us together from every nation, tribe, and tongue. It's a beautiful thing. Hey, this next week we're going to be starting a brand new series called Knowing God. And we're going to be spending the next few weeks talking about God. And it's such an interesting thing when you think about that God allows you into his confidence by revealing who he is to you and I. Uh, there's, that, that is just a very special thing when God begins saying, hey, this is who I am and let me tell you about me. There's something awesome when, when you begin to get, when you're allowed into confidence with somebody, that means they, they love you, they trust you, and they want you to know more about them. We want to know more about who is God, and God reveals Himself in His Word. So in these next series, we're going to be talking about the different attributes of God. Um, it's an awesome, you're going to enjoy this journey, so have fun with us on that. Hey, this uh, week, uh, we're going to be um, starting off with growth groups this week. Hopefully you sign up with a growth group. We've got MOPS starting, Mother of Preschoolers. Pray for that. It's a brand new ministry we're kicking off for the church. We've got the Word Speaks on Wednesday. It's an awesome Bible study. I want to encourage you to be a part of that. We have Awana kicking off, which is awesome and amazing. And you know what? We also have, uh, just God bless all the Sunday school teachers. They've kind of had a little bit of time off uh, with the children's ministry, but they're off and running. So lots of things are happening this week. And by the way, pray for Pastor Vince. Pastor Vince deserves a sabbatical. He deserves a month off, a month of rest. He's just gone through so much. And uh, lift up him. Pray that God would be his Sabbath. Pray that God would be his, his peace, his Shabbat, his Shalom. And, and don't call Pastor Vince. He's, he's a civilian for the next month. He just needs to be alone and quiet and sit before God. So good things happening, my brothers and sisters. Look forward to seeing you next week. God bless you all. And we'll see you next week. Take care. Bye-bye.